right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, Berlin? Nah, I think y'all can do better than that. I said, what's up, Berlin? <laughs> All right. Now, it's only right. I want you to put your hands together because I have to invite them on stage. Please give a big round of applause to the East Berlin team. That's not all of the East Berlin team yet, but I will get them up on the stage in a second. Um, yeah, hi again. That's the closing ceremony. Um, and also the winner ceremony. So yeah, we will shortly find out who won all of the awards. And some of you might have already seen who won the Open Track Award, but we will not dox it just yet. Um, yeah, so first of all, as per usual, this will be a little bit improvised. Um, we've all had very little sleep in the last three days, and uh, please forgive me if I will get um, emotional at some point, <laughs> because I'm just like so, 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 so happy we are having this revival here, finally again, after three years of not having East Berlin, and yeah, it's been amazing. <laughs> First of all, we, we love you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for being here all the time. Thank you for hacking amazing things. Uh, we're just so happy. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for coming. Thank, thank you, everyone, for coming. But also thank you for the um, massive team we had this year to put this together. As you uh, may already know, we do this um, in our leisure time side of our full-time jobs and no one gets paid to do this so we we do this entirely for you and a little bit for us too <laughs> so um thank you to the east berlin team the de department of decentralization maybe you can just come up on yes, stage, come so up we on stage. A big round of yes. applause come 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 helena <laughs> jacob nitch helena come on guys When you see them at the after party, please give them all a big hug. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We also wouldn't be here without our amazing volunteers, and we want to give them some stage time as well. So please, all the volunteers, come up. Come up on the stage. There must be 50 people here, come. Many, many of them might be sleeping by now because they are so exhausted from the weekend. Actually, it's not fair. I just sent them all to disassemble the venue. <laughs> Big applause Thank for the Berlin volunteers! <laughs> okay, selfie with the volunteers. One more. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right, now back to the closing ceremony. Eat Berlin in numbers. Um, yes, uh, this, <laughs> this screen is, I don't know, let me just. Um, so yes, um, East Berlin um, is an event that um, does not scale up. <laughs> and we realized this very early on, so we uh, uh, have been, with regard to the size or the number of attendees this year, the same as three years ago. And I think that was a good decision not to scale up. We distributed um, more than 1,000 tickets, and uh, we had a, an incredible uh, show-up rate of um, 90, or almost 90 percent. Um, we had, uh, as you just saw, uh, 38 core team and stuff. Uh, more than 50 volunteers, 36 judges, 37, I saw 37, um, 70 mentors and um, more than 100 sponsors. And of course, uh, this event is um, 
and not possible with uh, the amazing speakers, the press list, and more amazing people. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, uh, there were also some hackers here. We were targeting 700, but yeah, some didn't show up, so 600 roughly, um, excluding, of course, the hackers who sneaked in and we couldn't uh, sign you in with a ticket because those numbers are based on our ticketing system. So I'm sure one or the other hacker uh, found a way to sneak in, so let's say roughly 600. Um, and with that 600 hackers, you uh, managed to create 99 hackathon projects. So big up to you guys. I, I want to add that we ask every hacker that has to apply, do you want to hack at East Berlin? And an incredible amount of 69% said yes. I know my jokes are not funny. Um, <laughs> So we created, um, besides the main track, the, the open community voting track, we have four tracks that are very uh, specialized with regard to the technology or the, the scope. And we had the following submissions. 30 submissions on the infrastructure track, 24 uh, on the even the odds track, 18 on the counter surveillance track, and 22 on the freedom to transact track. Yes, and without further ado, we will dive into the awards. But we didn't tell you we have a special award. We do. And the special award this year is Outstanding Hacker Support. We've had an incredibly huge amount of super specialized and super knowledgeable mentors, and we do want to thank them for their support and uh, all the sweat and pain and passion they put into helping you guys and supporting you with your hackathon projects. And we do have three people um, who we would like to thank especially, and I think Kirill will do that. Yeah, hey, so you probably by now have learned that we had a ticketing system, right? Uh, and it press, uh, processed about 70 tickets total, and our mentors were kick-ass because the average response time was 33 minutes, but the mean uh, response time was three minutes, six seconds. <laughs> Uh, and we also did a lot of data science stuff, like, you know, we like all the analytics, all the advanced, like, data mining from those 70 tickets. You can do that perfectly. And we created the top topics for people to request help. And the words which come up the most were two, 22 times, A, 16 times, and V, 12 times. Uh, but actually, like, I try to filter it out, and there are some projects which really, really popped up more frequent than others in the help requests. It's up to you to decide if those are awesome projects or require a constant maintenance help and documentation sucks. <laughs> so, like, special recognition in this regard goes to Lens, mentioning in nine uh, requests, Wallet Connect mentioned in seven requests, and ZK Proofs in different forms also mentioned in five requests. And now to the like personal recognition which we like promised before and the top mentors in not particular order because the race was really tough and like the leaderboard was reassembling all the time and we really don't know how to properly count the contribution of a four star rating one of our mentors accidentally received. Guys who did that, you should be ashamed. Uh, so like top mentors, uh, Denis Pisarev, please come on stage. He Yeah, uh, so, uh, uh, he received a really awesome feedback. The best piece of feedback on that mentorship tool he received was less than sign free, less than sign free, less than sign free, please. Yeah. So, Vicky G, please come on stage. And her best feedback was amazing. I guess that was around two hours of patient love. Thank you. And Zanis, Zanis, are you here in the audience? That's a shame because his per feedback was, this is literally the best mentor giving him a crown. <laughs> so. Uh, 
Yeah, we absolutely like we have a non fungible token for two of you, so like fungible it somehow in the free time. Like, have fun. Thank you. Thank you, guys, and thanks, Kirill. Um, now we come to our main tracks, and we would like to announce the winner of the Infrastructure Award. Infrastructure is uh, a category that um, was really important to me personally because um, I'm, I'm working a lot on protocol engineering topics and I see many protocol engineers, researchers on hackathons that do amazing work, super important work, but they never fit in. My, uh, I, I often tell the story in, in, in Prague, at East Prague, all the infrastructure projects they went for uh, sustainability <laughs> to track, to just fit in somewhere. This year we have a dedicated infrastructure uh, track and we had 30 submissions which is uh, incredible and without further ado I want to announce the winner. No, you want to ask a judge to come and speak? Oh. Arjun will be here. Yeah. Arjun? Yeah, so for the infrastructure uh, or for all the track awards we will um, ask the specific judges to come upstairs and announce the winner. So please Arjun, come on stage. Thanks Fancy. Um, uh, as infrastructure track judges, we were completely blown away by the quality of the submissions. It was actually really, really hard to find a specific winner. Then there were three projects that really stood out above everything else. Um, ultimately, we decided to go with Dandelion++ for validator privacy as the winner of the infrastructure track. Fantastic work. Here you go. And um, uh, separately, just we wanted to give an honorable mention to two, the other two projects, um, BLSPIL and the Ethereum Censorship Monitor. Lion, Lion Cayman, can you come Thanks, back on stage? Just... You, you may, may pitch now. Yes, winners back on stage with a laptop. We want to see what you guys build. Yes, we want to know. If you don't have a laptop, you can also briefly describe it, but please come back for some quick pitch. This is what this ceremony is all about. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so there's a kind of a, a, an issue that people have, have seen in, in the Ethereum network. Um, basically, it, it, you could possibly link validator uh, identities to network identities, so linking a validator to an IP address. If you can do that, then you may be able to DOS um, the validator when they're supposed to perform their duties. <laughs> So we um, we took some some uh, ideas from the Bitcoin literature to try to prevent this, um, to provide some anonymity on the networking uh, level. Yeah. So the idea is that we we'll modify the publish mechanism in order to probabilistically make it harder to the anonymous networks. And yeah, as he described, it, this is a big issue for E2 and other networks. So. We really hope that with the hackathon we can get this implemented. Um, yeah, do you want to add anything? Um, I don't know what was said so far, so <laughs> probably not. But yeah, this is an issue that should be solved. So glad to, I don't know, bring awareness to it. Hey, and everyone, happy merch. Happy merch. We did it. We did Thank it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Next up, we have the track award, even the odds. Is there also a judge who would like to speak on this? Also known as people empowerment. Danny, calling Danny. 
paging Danny Osario. If not, it could be judging with Jacob, <laughs> our fallback option. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, judging with Jacob again. Um, so for the um, Even the Odds Award, we have the winner, which is HRTX. So please come on stage. Please. <laughs> Two All minutes. Right. Okay, then. Okay, then we will have HRTX okay. later. Okay, we will have HRTX on stage later. Just keep in mind, this is a pitch we should not miss. We will park the even the odds trophy here, and move on with counter surveillance. Any judge here who wants to talk on the winner? No. Okay, maybe Afri, do you want to talk about this? I don't even know the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I but don't I can know. talk about our trophies in case you didn't see them yet. It's um it's paper money, it's not fake, but it's still without any value. Um it's this paper bill is German paper mark from uh, 1923. It has been this one is uh, 500 500 million mark but it wasn't worth anything. It isn't worth anything today, so maybe we learn a lesson from this. And um, we uh, scribbled the track, oh, the your one on it, because it's worthless anyways, and you, it's, a, it's a nice reminder. Um, I hope you like it. So, is this HRTX? Oh, yes. Oh, awesome. Then, then back to HRTX. Hi, hello. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I, um, uh, my project is about... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm just a little bit nervous. Uh, my, my project is about uh, describing the Ethereum transactions with the use of GPT-3 by transcribing the code into the text. So that's like the kind of the idea. So <laughs> thank you very much again. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Congrats to HRTX. And now back to counter surveillance. So I think there's no judge announcing this track, so we will just do it for you. The winner of counter surveillance is Crypto Hub. Woohoo! Please come on stage. Come on stage and collect your useless money. 10 Please. billion mark. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> um, so, uh, Crypto Hub doesn't really solve any problems. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> um, it's actually a play on. Pornhub, and <laughs> if you want to access Pornhub, you got to have 18 or older, so we kind of did some fun ZK attestations with Sysmo and uh, built a little NFT store for Crypto Hub on Aztec, so it's private. As it should be. <laughs> Thank you very much. Next up, we have the track award, Freedom to Transact. Paging possible judges for this category. Yes, that would be the DeFi category in judge terms. They all left for the airport. That's unfortunate. Judges are always so busy. <laughs> we have the best judges of the best judges, so we will just understand that they are also busy. 
and we'll do this job for them. So the winner for the uh, Freedom to Transact Track Award is NFTs are live at East Berlin. Round of applause. I see a hand. I see movement. Oh, I see. Is it Pablo? <laughs> yes, our streaming guy. <laughs> Round of applause for Pablo. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Congrats yes. <laughs> on doing this all between live streaming for us today. Yes. Woo! Thank you. Well, this is a random. Yesterday, I was talking to a friend, and he said, let's build an NFT that you can stream to. So uh, I had some free time, so we built it. And then at 2 AM, we recorded a video with uh, Wesley and Shaka and you, what's your name? Ben. And Ben. <laughs> and yeah, it was awesome. And, um, and then I, I won, so <laughs> nice. Congrats. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. That's the hacker spirit right there. Thank awesome. You. Okay, let's move on to Meta Awards. Uh, just to recap what Meta Awards are. Mm, so initially we announced that we will have Meta Awards that are completely independent from the main track judging. So everyone can qualify if they want to. And the best smart contract um, is probably uh, award is probably a challenge for the judges. So um, I'm happy to see one on stage to announce the winner. Yeah. Hey, guys. I'll echo Arjun and say that it took us a really long time. So team Hari, Alex and I were judging for almost four hours. And we were judging based on how good the smart contracts were, right? So this means completeness, this means uh, actual functionality, readability, all of those good things. And after much consideration, the winner of this award is Athens, private on-chain governance. is an Aztec bridge that lets you uh, vote on any um, compound, Bravo, or governance protocol uh, completely anonymously. So that's... Congratulations, guys. The code was really good. Well done, guys. Um, Congrats. I'll, I'll finish by saying that we, d we were... This was a, a hard choice, and we do have... Uh, Three honorable mentions. So Checkmate, which is a, a guardian for safe, uh, it actually did not get chosen because like the person was uh, also a safe member. Uh, ET Vault and our society, our society definitely had really good code, but there's a bug, guys. That's why you were excluded. There's a there's a DOS vault in there, so you almost made it. You almost made it. But thank you. Really good submissions. Thanks, Gonzalo. Next up is the Meta Award on Best UX and Design. Do we have a judge? Yes, Akil. Uh, yeah, for the UX and the, uh, Design Award, we had kind of four categories we were uh, testing the products on. So there were a lot of products that were kind of heavy on one side, but weren't uh, fully encompassing um, execution. So the things that we were evaluating were ingenuity and novelty how unique the product was and what service they were providing, accessibility and usability, polished design slash branding, and then the impact and practicality of the actual product. And the solution that we chose was uh, Death Protector, which was basically a solution to um, have your, uh, what do you call it? When you pass away, your secret is kind of revealed at that point, but yeah. Dead Man Switch, yeah, there you go. Congratulations to Death Protector. Is anyone here from Death Protector? I guess not. Anyone here from Death Protector 151? 
please. But yeah, there were some other notable mentions like uh, Pirate Cave, I believe one was called, and a few others that did a lot of user research, et cetera, but the execution wasn't quite there. And this was like a fully encompassing product with a lot of uh, context on each of the transactions, ability to know that you're not on the right network and so forth. So they did a lot of work on the actual UI and congratulations to the team. Thank you. Thanks, Akhil. Death Protector, please come to us later to collect your award, if you're not here at the moment, and maybe watching this live stream, or, s or sleeping. <laughs> at the airport. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Our last Meta Award is Best Cryptography. Oh, wait. Yeah. Somebody to present it. Oh. Paddy approaching. Awesome. So the way we evaluated this prize was basically, you know, did you implement any cryptography? And so we had a range of solutions between people implementing in CIRCOM, you know, writing provers, verifiers, and unit tests, and some people writing smart contract functions that return true. So, uh, so there's one winner and one runner-up. The winner is ZK Compression. Uh, they did a really good job. You know, the idea was that they could reduce 30% of the data cost for roll-ups. And second, well, you know, the runner-up was Jordy's project for BLS within a snark. You know, but uh, good job to both of you guys. Yeah, so actually, if like someone interested, I just implemented the compression algorithm and proved this execution in zero-knowledge proof. So, basically, that's it. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And now the moment that many of us have been waiting for our big experiment this year, the Berlin's Faith Award. I hope you guys all voted, but let's look at some of the numbers. So, um, as you may know, you got an ESA card at the entrance. So each of you, not only the hackers, and we really wanted to have everyone involved in this process. Um, so out of 900, 900 uh, cards we gave out, 240 uh, cards were activated and participated in uh, voting. Um, that's 26%, which is not bad, I believe. Um, or the others didn't figure out it's on Golly Testnet, right? <laughs> um, and all of them allocated uh, 21,000 voting credits. I think it's even 299 when I last checked, but yeah, please verify. Don't trust us on the numbers, but trust us on who the winner is. So Berlin's faith is our society. <laughs> Please come on stage. Hacking the hackathon. Okay, hey everyone. We are Art Society, but actually everyone here is Art Society because our hack was about giving the prize money, the 10K that we won, we actually give them back to everyone in here. Everyone can claim $10. So I will let Sergey here talk, tell you about the project. So um, you think 10 die is maybe not so much. But if you look at the numbers, only 240 people use their EFA cards. And it's also something we expected. 
So the 10 dice only if all 1,000 people claim the prize, right? Well, so what will happen now? If you don't use your EFO cards and don't claim the prize in the next seven days after we receive the 10K on the contract, we will airdrop the unclaimed money to the people who claimed. So it means you get 10 die and you get a bonus a week after. As an airdrop on optimism. How to claim? Just go to our website. It's rsociety.eve.link. And yeah, it's on our PFS. So, and yeah, claim it. Thank you. Congrats, guys. That was uh, very well done on the social coordination side of things as well. And also our contract is actually Back free, so don't worry. <laughs> the, money, the money will be there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe have a chat with Gonzalo later about that. <laughs> we will, we will. Okay. Congrats, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> Just for the sake of transparency, we also want to show you the breakdown of this vote. Um, yeah, actually we see it was 299 votes, so my other slide was incorrect. Um, and our society received 8.92% of all votes. Uh, Runner-up is zero vote, ZK powered Anon. And third place would go to Torna Doxt. So also big shout out to those projects. Okay, that's it basically from us. Um, we, while we start uh, uh, tearing down the venue, you may have a beer, but we can all uh, meet later at the Watergate at our after party. I hope you did not lose your wristband, not the woven one, but the paper one which is your uh, key to the party. And last time, or last chance to grab an actual girly beer in the tent. Please take them. The official testnet beer. The official testnet beer. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone.